Hey there, Fight here with a quick review of Product Dino. Product Dino is a product delivery system, I guess. It's a little bit more than a membership script because it also integrates something which I was looking for, and that is uh, software licensing. So if you have an SAS solution, a SaaS solution, or you have a WordPress plugin, which is what I'm using it for here, then this is fantastic because it both does the user management, or, you know, integration from payment processing. People come in, they pay, then a user profile is generated and the access to the content, including the WordPress plugin, or your SaaS solution, whatever it is, is all managed in this one platform. And that's what I like about it. And it comes at a price point, which is just unbeatable. So the, the example I've got here is I've got, for example, WP questions, which comes in three versions, the single, the multi and the white label version. And the good news is you basically set it up once. In my case, let me just quickly show you what I've got in here. I basically have the, the content. And the content consists of three different or four different sections. One is the download page, and then I have three videos, um, which you know cover the different aspects of the plugin. You could reorganize this in slightly different ways. You could have, for example, this as a main section, the download page, and then the tutorial or hand, you know, whatever your manual in another one, and you could use subsections. I just wanted to have this here at a high level. Click, click, click through. It's easy to uh, do and to log in. Uh, maybe just to look at what it looks like. That's the only thing I'm not 100% happy with. I'm just logging into my account here. Oh, that's you know, a nice clean login page all taken care of. At the moment, apparently you can fiddle with CSS, but I haven't done this yet. So as a result, it kind of, the, the sequence isn't quite as obvious as it could be, but I am told you can fix this with uh, a little bit of CSS. So basically what I've got here, four sections. This is section number one, section number two, three, and four. I guess when you do subsections, it looks a bit nicer, whatever. But you know, it does the job and that's the key thing. So if I go back to listing here, the um, you know, that's the content, then domain and access. It is all by default on their domain, on Product Dino. However, and you can define your own subdomain as long as they're not taken yet. Um, but you can also use your own domain. So you know, the, whatever that domain redirect thing is, uh, whatever it works. And then you've got three URLs, uh, you know, the content, the login, and forgot password in case you need to send those out, for example, with your, um, you know, your own email. So let's have, I'm jumping from, from one thing to another. The own email, for example, is done by, uh, in here, global integrations. You can have your marketing emails, which is what I've just referred to. You know, for example, if you want to send, I'm using Drip, as you know, I'm also using Aweber. If I wanted to send those out with Drip, basically I integrate with Drip. Okay, fine. The other global integrations you have are transactional emails, which is the, here's your login, you know, the initial stuff that gets sent out, etc. or here's an update on the membership site. I'm using Amazon SES in here. Then in here is Amazon S3, which is the one I'm using for the uh, the video hosting and payment processes. Uh, you can integrate a whole host. I've integrated Stripe, PayPal and Thrivecard. Okay, fine. There you go. So to go back to the product, um, you know, what you do in here is, so you've got the domain, your content I've already shown you, you can uh, change the visual look and feel, and I guess that's where I need to look at, uh, you know, how to rearrange those icons. The payment gateways, so you set them up in global integrations, you say, these are the ones I have, and then in payment ga gateways, you then select the ones you want to use for your particular product. For this one, I have set up, I believe, Stripe and PayPal. Okay, so I've got two links here. And then all you do is you've got these two links here, or you know, if you want to use PayPal on a particular page, you take that link and you put it under your button. And that's it, that's as easy as it is. So um, integrations, yeah, more, uh, you know, going into more detail there with the, the integrations. The licensing is the one that got me all excited because now you can set up, you know, how many licenses of this particular product are people allowed to use? What's their password, et cetera, et cetera. So there you go. That's it in a nutshell. That's double, uh, product dyno and I love the ease of setting something up. And you know, once you've set this up, it was a, a simple matter of clicking on here, duplicate this, going into the next one, adjusting the price, obviously. So, you know, in the, uh, if you then go payment gateways, well, you know, the PayPal one, uh, it is whatever it is, $20 instead of $10. 
there you go, that's it. And then you're done. And you just save this whole thing and you go to your content, you grab uh, to payment gateways, you grab your link, you put it underneath your button and you're done. So all in all, it takes a few minutes to get an overview and I, I was hoping or I hope you know, with this video I can show you there are not that many moving parts you need to look out for. It's basically you go into global integrations, set up a few things and then you're off to the races and start setting up products. And the whole thing is something I think 10 bucks a month for up to 10 products. It's nothing, in including the license management for software. It's a no-brainer. Absolutely love it so far. Highly recommended. Cheers. Bye.